And now to the unholy row over plans to build an Islamic prayer centre in a semi-rural suburb on the outskirts of Sydney. Many residents are fighting the plan, claiming it would harm the area's heritage, culture and lifestyle. Even the mayor has suggested that local women and girls would be at risk. The plan is to have a, a religious hall here, a worship centre here, where you will have a main hall for the worshipping. But Arbus Ali's timing in lodging a building application with his local council couldn't have been worse. The building will go from about here to just over there. He presented his application to Borkham Hills Shire Council just a few days before the Bali bombings. Since then, Australian Muslims have come under the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Yes, I expected some resistance, uh, but not what's happened. There were 7,000 objections sent into the council, and I, there was 260 from one household. Arbus Ali has also had rubbish bins firebombed and a window smashed at his business. So, last night, the council held a so-called conciliation meeting. I think it's a very divisive issue, and there are very, very few Muslims living in the whole of the Bolton Hills Shire. We are frightened. The reaction in predominantly has been, uh, I think, uh, a fear of the Muslim uh, faith. No, no, it's not. No. Um, I, regardless of what sort of um, house of worship went onto that site, people would not be happy. Sharon Wells is president of the Annan Grove Progress Association, and her group is opposed to Mr Ali's application. She says it's more to do with increased traffic than fear of Islam. However, it's not the congregation that, that, w that worries us. Um, I suppose the, the social issues are perhaps what would, what would come with them. Sharon Wells cites the need for extra security, which has been an issue at other places of worship, including mosques. If we had to have um, you know, added security in Annan Grove, um, because of the political climate, yes, obviously that is a concern. Probably not really appropriate, I don't think. I think it's pretty racist to other people around the area. I don't think it's very good at all. What if it was a church? Um, well, that's, yeah, you've got a point. We are not like them. We are not, uh, we're not terrorists. We, we, you know, we're regular families, we have children, and we care about our families and the environment that we're in. I respect the right of neighbours uh, to uh, have a say in what's built in their neighbourhood, but uh, to object to a Muslim place of worship, it just shows uh, a great deal of intolerance and it gives us a bad image. The Lebanese Muslim Association's case of trad has been shocked by the outcry and suspects it's a sign of things to come. I don't think that there would be an outcry if it was a different place of worship. Uh, I, I do tend to feel uh, that uh, this is uh, because it's a Muslim uh, prayer hall. It's the fear factor and the politicians in this particular case have used it to their maximum advantage. He singles out Mayor John Griffith, who's been quoted in the local press as saying local girls and ladies are at risk. Today, the mayor was nowhere to be found, and Abbas Ali has just one message for his opponents. And my country is Australia, my religion is Muslim, and there is no, uh, you know, I'm very proud of both of those facts. Yeah, it's called religious tolerance.